I manage Willowa Lake Lodge, which is a nearly 100-year-old historic lodge here in Joseph in Willowa County on the shores of Willowa Lake, which is a glacially formed, very deep, very beautiful lake at the base of the Willowa Mountain Range. As general manager, I'm kind of in charge of every facet of this business, which seems straightforward, but it totally isn't. We have the lodge, we have ca like eight cabins that we rent out year round, and then we have a restaurant and a bar, all kind of running simultaneously through the high season, which is usually Memorial Day through September, but this year we're extending through Halloween and it's an exciting experiment. I don't know how it's gonna go. My vision for Willowa Lake Lodge is to carefully and thoughtfully modernize with a strong glance at the past and become as accessible as possible to the widest variety of people. Uh, for a long time, we served kind of a specific clientele and I'm so grateful to those people. But as we started moving in the age of coronavirus, way more people are traveling. A lot of people that maybe had never come here before were looking to discover this part of Oregon and we found ourselves um, accommodating a lot of different types of travelers, which was really exciting. And so that's always been my goal, is to make sure that the lodge is loved and used by the greatest number of people, especially our community. Um, working with the community and being a really active member of this community are super important. So this year, we're undertaking a bunch of projects. We've refinished the floors in the lobby. We'll be updating some of the design in here just to give it a more convivial feel before it was a little bit more formal and I'm trying to kind of break that up, have music here more often and become um, a place that all kinds of people want to naturally gravitate towards. We're also expanding our back deck, so it's gonna be about 2,000 square feet. I love being in Willowa County because there's nowhere else like it. The people who live here are incredible. They are so skilled, it blows me away. I feel pretty useless a lot of the time out here. I'm like, what are my skills? Brain skills? I don't know. I'm so working really hard on tactical skills because it's not uncommon for someone to be a well-established fish biologist who also is a known watercolor painter and a musician who volunteers on four different boards and might start their own business. Like the people that live here are just so engaged and collaborative and the community is so involved. I get nonstop inspiration from this place and what people are able to do. Like I have friends who are young and they are extreme skiers and ski guides. They lead raft expeditions. They are established hunters and anglers. And it's just like the, the way people grow up here is mind blowing. So it's not quite that way where I grew up. I think we definitely have an appreciation for the outdoors, but I moved to Eastern Oregon because I love the hands-on nature of life here. And even though this is a small town and you might think you would kind of estimate where people stood politically, like there's all kinds of viewpoints here and it sounds a little bit cliche, but people coexist really peacefully, 98% like of the time. Um, I've lived in other small towns in Eastern Oregon and I haven't experienced that like I do here. There's just this really cool confluence of ranchers, of artists, of um, extreme outdoors people, biologists, yogis, new age people that are creating a community here. 
and um, it's just so exciting to be a part of and I'm just trying to get as many tactical skills as I can so that I don't feel like the major putts on the trail. She talk a lot. It makes for a pretty good interview, sounds like, to hang out and sign my phone. Ooh, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a dentist. Um, I honestly don't know why I didn't pursue that. I was really into oral health, <laughs> which is such a weird thing to say. Um, I still am into that. And uh, I just, I had a dentist that I really loved and I thought he was a very cool guy. <laughs> That's what I wanted to be. Um, I wanted to be a singer too, but I realized pretty quickly into the like child performing circuit that I didn't really have the grit to hang in for that. I liked performing, um, but I didn't have the drive to try to take it to the next level. Um, and it's only been as an adult that I realized you can do things just for the enjoyment of doing them and you don't have to try to be the very best at that thing. That was like a huge realization for me uh, in my late 20s and it's something that I'm still kind of processing. But yeah, dentist or some sort of musical star. Oh, what's my favorite place in the country? This place, that's a really easy answer. I'm obsessed with this place. I came here 10 years ago as an interpretive naturalist park ranger, and I was just blown away by the beauty of the area. And like I said before, like the total coolness of the people who live here. And this has always just been my, I call it my soul home, which sounds really kind of cheesy, but it's totally true. I've traveled a lot across the country and internationally, and this is my favorite place in the world. Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road where mama and papa used to go. Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago And pine for them old days of yore well, Let me run through the breeze like the leaves on the trees Let me fly 